All right, the gentleman, man. Dog, right in the beginning, Matt McConaughey get popped. And I'm like, man, ain't this the nigga of the fucking movie? Like, they just gonna, they gonna lead up to his poppage and then, you know, show what happens after that later down the line. I don't be liking movies like that, but whatever. It was a visual of him getting popped and shit. But, uh, so he built up this drug business. I'm gonna tell you, I don't know none of these motherfuckers' names. I don't know their names in the movies. I don't know their names in real life. So, y'all just gonna have to keep up somehow. So, um, he get popped or whatever. And then uh, it goes back to like real time, which is the private investigator, you know, who knows Matt McConaughey and, uh, and, and his mans or whatever. And uh, he got some story and he's like offering him the story and some other bullshit for, uh, he won like $2 million or something like that. And the, the story is the story of Matt McConaughey. Cause he's like, nigga, you could sell this shit as a film. Cause he's been, you know, private investigating the whole shit or whatever. So um, dude is like, what the fuck? So he starts telling him the story or whatever. And it starts off with, you know, him building up the uh, the drug business from, like, a child and handling shit on his own or whatever. Oh, you for a drug movie, son? With, like, $400 million worth of drugs and all this high-ass amounts? It ain't really a lot of killing. And so I'm guessing that's why they called it The Gentleman, but it should have been called The Gentle Movie because I don't know. Nigga, I be seeing movie, movies with, like, motherfucking hundred, five hundred thousand dollars worth of drugs and everybody be dying. But they talking about four hundred, five hundred million and then... Shit like three niggas dying. I'm like, goddamn, what the fuck kind of shit going on? So, um, basically, what he do is when when somebody get an inheritance or whatever, and you know they don't really have they they gonna get money, but they are not gonna get enough to, you know, surplus that motherfucking whole lifestyle for like too long, I guess. So he go to them and be like, yo, I'll keep you living this lifestyle. Just let me use your land, and he like go under their ground and um build his little bases for drugs and shit like that. So um he he trying to sell it and get out or whatever. Uh, he meet up with this white dude, bring one white dude to his uh, location, show him how the shit work or whatever. You know, the white dude, basically, uh, after that, you know, he got plans with, with that nigga. And then there's another mother, there's a Chinese dude or whatever. He kind of wants to, uh, he wants to buy it too, but the dude don't want to sell it to him. I don't know why. He don't want to sell it to the motherfucker. So, uh... I guess because he just got plans for selling it with the white dude. So then motherfuckers rob that shop and they video record it and they fucking make a music video because they some fighting ass niggas. They make a music video robbing this young and send it to Matt McConaughey. So um, it's the dude who trains them fighters, he don't know that they doing that. They like his, you know, peoples or whatever. So when he, once he find out who is from and shit, he tell his kids like niggas like, I gotta go apologize to this nigga or whatever. So he go apologize or whatever. Uh, that's Colin Farrell, the, uh, the boxer nigga. So he go apologize and he's like, yeah, basically, you know, I'll do whatever I can to repay the debt. They shit is on me. So basically, uh, Matt McConaughey's people get helped by them boxers from here on out. Uh, the private investigators keeping track with the people that's kind of sabotaging the drugs people and keeping track with what Matt McConaughey's doing or whatever. I guess so he can use, you know, the, the information against both of them in the future and shit. So, um, at one point, Matt McConaughey's people, he got a job to fucking go get somebody's daughter from somewhere. So they go do that. But some dude, some Russian motherfucker dies and shit, falls out the window accidentally or whatever. Uh, they go steal the phones, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so then... What, what the fuck you got going on? They just they try to twist and turn you every fucking which way they can. They get some video footage of the white dude that talked to him talking to the Asian nigga. But when they think the Asian niggas is doing it, he goes and motherfucking almost kills the Asian dude, but then gives him like a like a pass. Like, yo, don't fuck with me again. You don't want to go to war with me, blah, blah. If I can get you in your own kitchen because he drinks some little poison shit, and I can get you anywhere. And I'm like, nigga, all this shit, money fucking up, and niggas is just... That's probably why it's called a gentleman, but I'm telling y'all the gentle movie, son, because everybody in the show was off. Like he he damn near killed him and nobody came back. So blah blah blah. Then uh the old foreign nigga goes and talks to the young uh foreign nigga, the nigga dry or whatever. From young rich Asians or whatever. Crazy rich Asians. So he goes and talks to him, like, yo, what the fuck? You you did this shit? Like, without asking me, blah blah. He's like, uh man, you know, I'm trying to take over, blah blah blah, all this dumb shit. So then the Asian, the old Asian nigga walks away, gives the order to kill the young nigga, but the young nigga apparently paid off the old Asian nigga's people, so they kill the old Asian dude, and it's like, what the fuck? Then you find out that the old Asian dude is talking to the white dude about the shit, but at the end, the Asian dude is really trying to fuck over everyone and be on top. He's trying to be motherfucking top donkey or whatever. So, um, 
Asian dude ends up trying to set up motherfucking uh, what the private investigator. Yeah, he tries to set up Matt McConaughey. So his peoples go to kill him. But his his right hand man is there and kills that dude. And that's who fucking really got shot in the beginning of the movie. It wasn't Matt McConaughey. It was the dude that was trying to kill him by his mans. And then they was at his girl's spot too and shit. His girl, they, they job or whatever. And the Asian nigga was about to try to uh, take the girl to the, uh, you know, I don't fucking know, to get the money or go to the little drugs on to set up the deal. But the bitch wasn't rocking. She shot two of the niggas in the head and um, she only had two bullets in the gun. Asian nigga goes and try to rape her because he think that her husband dead. Man, her husband, Matt McConaughey, walk in that zone, shoot that nigga about three, four times in the head, son. Then, um, they figure this shit out. Like, after that, it's kind of like, uh, what the fuck, son? So they get to, you know, where the nigga's actually telling the other dude the story. And he's like, yeah, I'll leave this on the table for, uh, for y'all, like, you know, and, um, so he's like, yeah, meet us with, with the bread, blah, blah, shit like that. Meet me, or probably yesterday, like, meet me with the bread. So, um, they fucking get the white dude who's basically was supposed to buy it, but he's kind of trying, he's manipulating fucking it up so that the market could be fucked up. So, so he could buy the shit for way cheaper. So he do that. He, 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 he tell the white dude that he know what the fuck is going on. Um, but he's mad. He's like, nigga, you going to pay me the money. I'm not giving you shit. And you gonna lose a pound of flesh, I don't care where it is, but basically he's only doing that pound of flesh shit because his wife got touched in the whole process and he mad as shit about that joke. So um, they go into a freezer, he fucking do, do the transfer the money and then they cut some skin off that nigga, whatever the fuck. So uh, then the one dude meet up with Matt McConaughey's people to, uh, with the money, but there is no money. He's like, I'm not paying you. We, we found out we were stalking you the whole time. So we got this shit on you and blah, blah. And then he's like, fuck. All right, so the real thing is the Russian nigga that fell out the window. And you knew something was going to be up with the Russian nigga because the bitch was like, that Russian, that can't be good. And they just left that alone for a minute. It was like, yeah, so he's really, really after y'all because I gave him information on y'all and he's supposed to come give, come kill y'all here and go kill Matt McConaughey over at his uh, business when he leave. So you should kind of just let me go for uh, giving you this information. So they're like, what the fuck? So um, they kind of get prepared for that in a sense, but Matt McConaughey is kind of late. Matt McConaughey gets saved by some niggas that I swear is trying to kill him. The young boxer niggas go off on their own. They do their rogue shit again. They go to try to kill this nigga and they save him from the Asian niggas or the Russian niggas that's about to fucking kill him in the car. He's in the back seat, so he just ducks as he see the shit coming. And then the boxer niggas drive off and then the private investigator thinks he's good. The other dude, he he got saved too. Um, cause he had a he had a heads up and shit. So um they killed him, they killed them Russian niggas, and then these Russian niggas basically get killed by the boxer niggas. They find a private investigator at the end, put him in the car, and then you know that's kinda like the end of the motherfucking movie. It's a it's it's a lot of fuck. They try to twist you every time they turn, nigga. Like they acting like, you know, your movie is just some penis and they try to give it all the twists that they can to like just make you climax and shit. This shit good, they don't need all them damn twists, but motherfucking that shit good, son. It's, I'm, I'm, it's, it's entertaining and shit. That first 20 minutes was a lot of talking and I ain't really know what the fuck was going on. Like I was just, huh? And then it's like, oh, okay, okay, okay. This shit start getting, you know, good. Motherfucking, I get that motherfucker like an 8.9 out of 10. Yeah, yeah, I go with 8.9 out of 10. It ain't enough action, man, for a motherfucker. They got some fake action in there. It's definitely some fake action in there. He's like, nigga, it's, it's, it, you know, it's always better. Because the dude who was telling the story added the fake action and shit. It was like, that shit was kind of, that shit was funny. But he's like, you know, it's always good to have some action in the show. But uh, yeah, man, motherfucking The Gentleman or The Gentle Movie.